Hey fellow traders, welcome to a new video. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about market versus limit orders. Okay, so there are actually many videos about you know what a market order is and what a limit order is. Okay, so in this video, I won't spend so much time focusing on market order, you know, what is market order, what is limit order, but I would like to go more into depth about when should you use market order, when should you use limit order. Okay, what kind of personality type you should, you know. What kind of personality people should use market order and what kind of personality people should use limit order, okay? So if you are new, I'll still give you a, a brief introduction because I don't want you to not understand um, what I'm saying in this video. Okay, so if you are new to trading, what a market order means is that uh, you are buying the currency pair or selling the currency pair at the current price, okay? Market order means at the current price, which means instant execution. So for example, over here, we are looking at Euro dollar, okay? So if this is Euro dollar and you do a market order, that means that you are buying a uh, Euro dollar at 1.0835, okay? Because uh, the price now it's uh, 1.0835, okay? So today it's Saturday, so the market is not moving. Therefore, you don't see the price moving. But on a weekday, when the market is open, when you do a market order, then you will buy or sell the currency at that price. Okay, so market order is pretty straightforward. Now let's talk about limit orders and uh, buy, you know, stop orders. Stop orders is kind of like a buy stop or sell stop, but I would uh, kind of classify it as a, a pending order, right? So you have instant order, you have a market execution order, and you have a pending order. So pending order consists of limit orders as well as stop orders. So let me just go into each of these first before I finally reveal to you uh, when, you know, or rather whether you should focus on a market order or a pending order. So a limit order is basically to buy or sell at a better price. Okay, that's the easiest way to remember it. So let's say right now price is at 1.0835 and uh, you want to buy euro dollar. That means you want to buy euro and you want to sell dollar. Okay, so if you do a limit order, a limit order is just trying to buy at a better price. So of course, if you're buying at a better price, then your, your, your entry will be lower, right? You might, uh, you, know, you might place a pending order here. Okay, so pending order means that uh, you, you, you are doing just, you're queuing, you're setting a queue at the level, which also means that if price decides to, you know, just take off, then you do not have any positions, right? You are missing out on the trade, okay? You need price to come down first so that uh, it hits your order before, you know, it goes up, okay? So if you have problems remembering, just remember that limit order means that you're buying or selling at a better price okay so if you are selling then you'll probably have put a pending order higher right price is currently here and you'll try to sell at a better price that's how limit order work okay now let's talk about a stop order okay buy stop buy stop and sell stop is the opposite of a limit order meaning that you in a sense if you want to buy you are buying at a worse price okay if you want to sell you sell at a worse price now you might ask me, why would I want to sell at the worst price or why do I want to buy the worst price? I want to get the best price possible. Well, in cases where you're trading breakouts, right, where you need a certain price level to break first, right, you need the level to break to validate your trading idea, then it makes sense to use a buy stop. So let's say price is at uh, 1.0835 and uh, you, wanna, you, you want to buy. You want to buy upon the breakout of this high, you do a buy stop here. 1.0879. So that's higher. That's a higher price. Okay. Same thing for selling. If you want to sell when uh, this support level is broken, you do a sell stop at uh, 1.0728. Okay. So basically, you just want to uh, sell at a worse price. Okay. So buy stop is a buy at a worse, sorry, a buy a stop order, right? A stop order means that you are getting in at a worse price and a limit order means you are getting it at a better price. A market execution order means that you are executing price as it is currently, right away, okay? So now let's talk about um, when should you use uh, limit orders and when should you use uh, market orders, okay? This part of the video is something that uh, you won't really find it on YouTube because no one addresses it, okay? No one addresses this. 
okay when determining whether you are a person who do market order or you are doing or you, you're a person who likes to place limit order you need to ask yourself a question you need to ask yourself what kind of person are you right you need to understand your own trading psychology in fact in one of my previous video uh, i talk about the concept of the mismatch between um, your trading psychology and your guru's strategy right and that's uh, so the reason why um, you may struggle to turn a profit because your your mentor right or whoever you follow they have a certain way of thinking they have a certain personality which is in conflict with uh, the way you do things okay for example for myself i'm a momentum trader i like to catch momentum i hate trading reversals so if let's say someone teaches me a method and try to get me to you know buy buy you know buy into a strong sell down i have problems executing because that's not my personality that's not my training psychology so the first question you want to ask yourself when you're using a limit order or market order is to know yourself right you need to know what kind of person are you are you a withdrawn trader do you like to catch breakouts do you like to catch retracements okay so if you are you like to trade breakouts then ideally you want to stick to a market order or you want to stick to a stop order, meaning that when price is broken, broke above a certain level, you enter, okay? If you are doing a retracement trade, like for example, let me just give you an example over here. Okay, let's say that you want to buy off the, uh, the Fibonacci retracement at this level over here, then it makes sense for you to just do a limit order. You just, you know, as price is coming down, just input a limit order here and just go and sleep. Just, just you know, just let the market do it, do whatever you want to do if that is your personality but you need to uh, align your personality with um, the kind of strategies that you want to adopt okay that's a very important takeaway if you are new to our channel and you have not read or you know watch other videos make sure you check that out because that single video will explain to you why your mentor is killing it or everyone else is killing it they are making a lot of money but you are struggling okay that will address that question in fact i also have an article on our website okay i'll leave a link in the description below just check that out okay so in short in short let me just summarize okay if you are a person who likes to catch breakouts, okay, you, you like momentum plays, um, you like to buy uh, off support, you like to see that, okay, uh, you like so-called confirmation of a support level, which uh, I kind of advocate, um, then you should be using a market order, okay? Or at most, you use the stop order because, you know, you want price to break a certain... Uh, price to break a certain uh, important support and resistance, then you enter. But if you are a retracement trader, Right, you like to catch things, catch prices at a good price, low price, a nice retracement down, then use a limit order because the limit order will help you get in at the best price. Okay, so you have to start with understanding your psychology before you look into, um, you know, whether you should just execute market or limit order. Most news traders, they don't, you know, they don't think about this kind of stuff, they just do it. Okay, that's not the way to do it, right? Uh, if, you're part of you know my group my telegram channel right just check the link below if you're new it's a free uh, i talk a lot about understanding your own psychology first then working with your psychology okay because it's so much easier for you to change your strategy than it is to change your psychology make sense right if you go to you know for example forex factory you go to baby peeps or even in our free day trading guide okay i leave a link in the description we give you strategies even in this youtube channel we give you strategies after strategies there is no shortage of strategies okay but what you need to understand is that what kind of person are you right then you pick a strategy that fits and then your execution will be easy okay i tried to you know do limit orders like this before right previously when i didn't understand this concept i would try you know because i learned from some mentor i would tell them they would tell me oh look for this just put a limit order here and i really struggled i couldn't leave the limit order there right as price come i'll delete it because that wasn't my psychology my psychology was i didn't want to see that price so bearish i didn't want to buy i just couldn't do it okay so i really struggled with that method because i couldn't execute right because there was that mismatch between my trading strategy and my trading psychology okay so this video it's pretty unique okay if you have any questions make sure you leave a comment below i'll try my best to answer okay so if you haven't really subscribed make sure you subscribe i come out fairly value videos like this almost every single day a lot of lessons that you know i, I learn across uh, my 
long history of trading. Okay, I pay a lot of gurus to learn from them. I'm still learning because there's always something to learn. Okay, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, just leave, leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.